If you would like to modify the calibration of the fuel gauge or change the ranges that the RPM and speed must be in for the fuel level to be read, press the set button to enter the menu system. Use the up and down buttons to then navigate to the fuel cal option and press the set button again. The gauge will then ask you for the capacity of the fuel tank. You can enter the capacity in liters or gallons as long as you calibrate the gauge using the same unit of measure. Note that the default settings of the fuel gauge are calibrated in gallons. Once you have the capacity entered correctly, press the set button. The gauge will then ask you for the fuel level reading when the tank is empty as indicated by the zero gallon shown at the top of the LCD. The number at the bottom of the LCD is the current fuel level reading, which is why it is useful to calibrate the fuel gauge while filling with gas. If you press the set button, it will now ask you for the fuel level reading when a half a gallon or liter is present. If you put a half gallon or liter of gas in the sled, the number at the bottom of the LCD would be what you'd change the fuel level reading in the center of the LCD to. Note that if you are calibrating the fuel tank while filling the sled with gas, it is important to have someone sit far back on the seat to emulate the position of the sled while it is moving. You will need to set a fuel level reading for each fuel level. If you are just modifying the gauge's reading at a certain fuel level, you will need to multiply the capacity entered in the gauge by the fuel level percentage that is inaccurate. For example, if the fuel gauge is reading 20%, but the tank has more fuel in it than indicated, you will need to multiply the capacity, which is right now 9, by 0.2, which yields 1.8. 0 0.2 is 20%. This means that at 1.5 you should increase the number a little bit, at 2 you should increase it a bit more than you did at 1.5, and at, at 2.5 you should increase it the same amount you did as at 1.5. Once you've calibrated all fuel levels, the gauge will then ask you for the bottom of the RPM range that the sled must be in to read the fuel level. As usual, use the up and down buttons to change the RPM. It will then ask you for the tarp, top of the RPM range, the bottom of the speed range, the top of the speed range, and finally, the maximum variation in speed over the last five seconds that is acceptable for a fuel reading to be taken. The fuel gauge calibration is definitely the most complicated feature of a reflash gauge. If you need assistance using this feature, do not be afraid to ask for help.